know this is not a spring chicken. If you're getting ready for April Fool's Day and you're wondering if your computer is going to be safe, we've got some top 10 ways to protect your computer. Now this actually is good for you whether it's April Fool's Day or not. <laughs> but if you're not ready, here's some things that you can do to get ready. The top 10 ways to protect it is number 10. Activate the virus program that came with your computer. A lot of people won't. That's true, they don't. They okay. don't because they just want it on and that's it. Um, number nine, don't assume that the program works. <laughs> yeah, test it. <laughs> test it and get another. <laughs> and so just because the program is on there, you also have to run the program. <laughs> well, yeah, because a lot of times the program, basically you'll find all of a sudden, you'll look down in a corner and you'll say that, you know, the, the, the firewalls aren't on, the uh, protections aren't all on because you never turned them on. Oh. You actually have to turn all that stuff on one at a time. Oh, number eight, make certain your virus protection has spyware. Yeah, because they'll, they'll, hit, you with a, they'll hit you a virus through the spyware section. Because a lot of viruses are like brilliant uh, digital. Ooh, that's a nasty one. That's right, which is a Trojan horse. Number seven, don't open chain letters or anything from organizations that you don't do business with. Yeah. yeah, because we get a massive amount of things from Google AdWords and Yahoo AdWords. You don't do business with them. Yes, yeah, so And don't. banks. Yes, especially if it's a bank you don't do business with. Yeah. Now, here, here's the part is, if you do do business with a bank, if you keep that with a, a different email, yeah. right? And if it shows up on an account or an email account that you don't have registered with them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and especially don't open up those ones that say, um, urgent money needed uncle sick or something yeah like <laughs> are, are you've won a, you've won the lottery oh yeah you won the lottery let's see what else we go to that oh um paypal paypal does not send you out emails. that's right and and you know and uh, most of the companies that you buy software to do not send you out things saying that uh, oh. your passwords are are invalid oh actually those are always good ones yeah yeah Number six, virus protection has email protection. Yeah, because it does you, because you're getting them mostly from your emails. And if you don't have email protection, you know, and also don't assume that because you have email protection in your soft, in your viral protection that you've got it turned on. You Everything you has to be, to turn, make sure it's on. everything has to be manually turned on because it gives you, you know, some people don't want them on. So they, they give an on off switch. Well, you know. Sometimes people don't want them on because you think, oh, it makes my um, computer slower. Yep. Or I'm already going through my provider already has an email protection. That doesn't make any difference because here's a trick. Every single one of the companies that handle spyware and virus protection automatically exempts certain companies from being protected from it. Ooh, ooh I bet you didn't know that one. Say that one again because every, yeah, I think it, they didn't know. Every company that you buy software that for viral protection or, or spyware or malware protection has a list of people that they do business with, and these people are exempt from being scanned by that software. Number five, shut off all HTML images loaded to the computer and turned off. Yeah, well, they, they, because... Uh, because they come in through... They'll come in because, okay, uh, um, what happens is images will also transmit a Trojan horse to you or put a cookie on your computer. Oh. And you don't want that. I mean, I took 148 cookies off of my computer this morning just from checking the headlines. Wow. Yeah. 140? 140. That's a lot. So, and there's some, there's a lot of people that don't check their cookies. Yep. I mean, I've seen relatives that, okay, maybe it's been months yeah. since they've had it cleaned out, and it's right. not hard I mean, to There's do. certain cookies you have to leave on because they're required with software, but I had, actually, honestly, I had 28 cookies from the NAB organization on my computer from just opening up, what are their emails this morning? 28? 28, yeah. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Number four, don't open any attachment sent to you via email. Well, go. It's a smart thing because an attachment they'll, you know, uh, they'll they'll piggyback, you know, a virus or or a spyware, malware, all these things on an attachment when you open it. And it says contact them before opening. Well, yeah. Okay. If you have doubts that this may be a legitimate thing you're being sent, it takes you no effort to send an email back to that very same person that sent it to you. You know, and ask them, you know, can, you know, like you ask them a question, you know, and you know, like, uh, okay, 
what's my name? You know, because they'll send it to, like, you know, your company address instead of you. So you just simply... Well, and then the other part is beware that sometimes when you send an email to somebody, if it's got an attachment, especially a company email... They won't accept it either. And that person may not even know that you sent them an email. Yeah, because it won't accept it. But that's always a good way to figure out, find out that your email attachment may not be any good is when the people that you sent it back to won't accept it. Uh-huh. That's always the time to really eliminate it immediately. Number three, run a quick scan on your computer at least once a day and a full scan at least once a week. You've got to. If you don't, because, like I said, there, things slip by. I mean, I'll get a brilliant digital that will slip by my system. Because what I'll do is I'll go to a legitimate site like Yahoo. And Yahoo are actually um, Adobe, for instance. Adobe has got, uh, is, they've got Java things that are being attached to their things. People are attaching a Java to their Java, and it's coming in. My system, if I didn't run continued scans these least once a day, I wouldn't catch the fact that the one part isn't really there. They piggyback on them. Yeah, they well, piggyback. Sometimes people get viruses in their computer, and they send it out to you, and they don't know that they've done Because that. they don't check their computers. Well, I'll give you an example. Like my brother, uh, this is probably the biggest example. One day he went to work. He gets off the elevator, and there's a sign that says, do not open any email attack. Uh, do not open up any email from. And then it had my brother's name. And apparently, I had gotten a virus, didn't know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it but, opened up my mailbox and sent it to everybody on there. Yeah, my nephews got it. I got it, and everybody. You know, the difference is, is that we know better. Actually, another thing is, don't keep an address book. Period. I but that's what they'll they'll hit that address book and don't use Microsoft Outlook under any circumstances. Well, yeah, because actually Microsoft Outlook is attacked all the time. Yeah, and it's because it's so popular and everybody uses it. Yep. Number two, never have enough. Oh, yeah, antivirus and spyware software on your computer. I mean, I got I, our computers will take ten minutes to load because we've got open because we've got so much on it. But and don't pay any attention when Microsoft comes up and says you're in conflict. Well, that's because they want you to pull all your software off to protect your computer, but theirs. Well, and a lot most of those software programs want you to remove all of them. And if you're not certain if it really does work like that, the best indication is I'll run the the, the antivirus or anti-spyware with one program. Right? It's already cleaned, supposedly, and then you clean it out, and then you use another program, and then it picks up things. Yeah, and they'll they find things. You. you know, because I, I, have, I, I have so many on mine, and they will catch something that the others, they, like I said, companies pay them to allow their spyware to get through. Yeah, and if that's, if, if you pick up one thing. One is all. It's remember. That's right. <laughs> turn it on and have multiple ones. Because the companies pay them. Those yep. are probably two, well, other than the number one reason or the number one way to protect your computer. I love this one. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> don't turn on your computer. That's the best way to protect your computer from being hit. But you know the likelihood of that happening. Why else would you have the computer? Although it does make a nice paperweight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you, yeah well, you, can run, you can run your DVDs on it. So. Okay, okay. Oh, that's that's another thing. If you're running DVDs like you're running movies, and they will piggyback, they will piggyback um, uh, spyware and viruses on DVDs also now. Did you know that? Yeah, because they're interactive. Because a lot of times I know, like, I, if I was watching a movie on a computer, I would take the computer off the net, off the internet, so it wouldn't update while you're trying to watch the movie. And I used to turn off all my spyware and everything to make it run better. Yeah. But but now since they're they're all yeah. viral, you can't do that anymore. So that's the top ten ways, yes, to protect your computer. But we're going to have much more on the subject coming up. But for now, this is not a spring chip. And this is old cam. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, go to www.montabubble.net. Or Twitter us. Oh, yes, Twitter us. Yeah! <laughs>